This is a program that I wrote which uses Newton's method to calculate the zero or root of a function given an initial guess. So suppose we start off with a simple function uh, x squared minus 1. Um, and we can see that it's got two zeros, one at negative 1, one at positive 1. So we run the program and we enter in our expression. And now let's say we want to know the root that's on the right side, so we'll give it a guess that's close to there, like 0.5. And it keeps guessing each time you press enter, it gives you the next guess, and it stops once, um, once the guess ev makes the function evaluate to zero. Um, but suppose with the same function we wanted the other one, so let's give it a negative guess. It could be anything negative, really, because there's only one on this side, so keep guessing, and it stops. Uh, but suppose we have a more complicated function, like x cubed minus 2x squared plus 3x minus 4. So we see it only crosses the axis once, um, so I guess we'll probably be, say, 1, because it looks like it's close to 1, but not quite 2. Um, so give it the equation, x cubed minus 2x squared plus 3x minus 4, and let's guess 1. And it stops at around 1.650, so let's uh, test that our program is correct using the calculator's built-in function, which kind of makes the program silly. But really the purpose of the program isn't so much to give you an answer, because your calculator can do that easily. Um, it's to give you the next guess for Newton's method. Um, which is more interesting because that shows how each guess is closer than the next one. So let's give it a left bound of 0, a right bound of 2, and we'll guess 1. And as you can see, the calculator's built-in feature agrees with our guess. So now I'll show you the code if you're interested. It's kind of simple. First it just gets the input and stores it as a string then turns a string to an equation, puts it into y1, asks for the guess, and it will do the following as long as um, the function doesn't evaluate to zero, right? y1 of g does not equal zero, and the derivative of y1 with respect to x at the value g with a tolerance of 1 times 10 to the negative fifth, just to make it a little more accurate than the default, which is 0 0.001, does not equal zero, because here then we'd be dividing by zero. Do g minus y1 of g over the derivative of y1 with respect to x at the value g for the same tolerance. Store that to g and then display it as the current guess, and it will keep going until it's done. That's about it. If you have any questions, feel free to post a comment.